Hey, thanks so much for joining us as we continue to look at passages of strength and comfort. Today's story is from the Old Testament. What I want to do is to read the passage and then we'll tell the story. You ready? Daniel chapter 3, 17 and 18. We want to make it clear to you, your majesty, that we will never serve your gods or worship the gold statue that you have set up. Here's the story. The Babylonian king Nebuchadnezzar overthrew Judah and took hit the best and the brightest back to Babylon. Among the young men he captured were Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And when the captives were ordered to bow down and worship an image of gold, these three Israelites refused and were sentenced to die in a blazing furnace. But they, um, but they confronted the furnace without fear. They were confident that God was able to deliver them. And even if God did not see fit to deliver them from the fire, they remain unfazed. We want to make it clear to you, your majesty, O Nebuchadnezzar, that we will never serve your gods will never worship the gold statue. God might save us, he may not, but we're not going to bow down and turn our backs on God. With the furnace heated seven times hotter than normal, the three young men were thrown into the fire. And when Nebuchadnezzar looked into the flames, there were three young men unharmed because God sent an angel to protect them. Living without fear is living with the confidence that God can deliver us from anything at any time. He can do that. However, even if he chooses not to, we will still refuse to bow down before anyone or anything but him. Living without fear is the confidence of knowing that our life and our death and our eternity are in his hand. Father, we belong to you. Help us to obey you. Help us to honor you. Help us, Father, to be those who, who demonstrate what it looks like to follow hard after you. You can deliver us from any situation, any circumstance, but even if you don't, we will still follow hard after you. That's our commitment. Help us fulfill that commitment, we pray. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, we got some important times coming up in our country. We're going to be um, casting a ballot for President of the United States of America. What a privilege we have. We encourage everyone to vote. We're going to be airing a podcast, releasing a podcast on October the 29th. That's a week before the election. And uh, we pray that you listen to it. And we're going to talk about things to pray about before you cast your ballot. We're not going to endorse a candidate, never have, never will, but things to pray about as you determine who you're going to vote for. All right. That's October the 29th. Again, thanks for joining us as we've looked at these passages, as we continue to look at these passages of strength and comfort.